In the last video, I showed you how to create a calculation based on some numbers inside of my workflow that I can use elsewhere. In this video, I want to show you how to set logic based on whether that calculation is greater than or less than another number or variable. So as you can see, this is the workflow that I set up previously in the prior video where we have some income and expenses and we've created our net income variable, which is equal to all my income minus all my expenses. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to create another variable that is called resolution. Because what I want to do is I want to show a particular message to the end user, depending on whether the net income is positive or negative. So what I've done here is I've created a variable. I'll just use a text variable and I'll call it resolution. I don't need to create a value here because the value is actually going to be logic based. And that's where I'm going to go into my invisible logic section right here so that I can show you how I'm going to set up the resolution variable. So I'm going to say if net income is greater than the number zero, then my resolution is equal to, I'm going to add some text here, are eligible. Now I can also use else if, if I had other ranges that I wanted to display different values of resolution for. So for example, if I wanted to say less than zero from zero to 10, and then above 10, I might use the else if. But in this situation, I want to say in all other cases, if the net income is not greater than zero, then else, which means otherwise, resolution is equal to you're not eligible. And now on my final page, I have this information displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and run my workflow. I'll type in some values that make my net income negative. And as you can see, I have a message displayed here, which I could have formatted in any way I want, but I've just created a simple message that says my net income is negative 10, and as a result, I'm not eligible.